Hello everybody, I would like to show you a very simple thing you can do with your chords to make the movement more interesting. In this case I'm going to play a C major chord. I hope you know a C major chord, but if you don't it's just the C note, 3rd fret of the A string, E note, 2nd fret of the G string, uh, 2nd fret of the D string, open G string, C note, 1st fret of the B string, and an open E. That's a beautiful C major chord, very useful, very common. Now that I'm fretting that. You can notice that my pinky is free. A lot of people don't use their pinky. That is stupid. You've got to use your pinky. It's very, very useful. And basically what I'm saying here is pop your pinky down on that third fret. Officially that's a, like a C add nine chord, you'd call it, but I really just think of it as a C with a nice extra note in there. Uh, I think that chord is in uh, Oasis Wonderwall, which a lot of people play, and Green Day, Time Your Life. So pretty common, played, played like that a lot of time with the G chord. But what I'm saying is that anytime, anytime in a song, in something that you're writing, and if you're accompanying someone, if you're playing a C, just to make it more interesting, you can add that note, it's kind of, it should always work really. And then by the same token, you can release the C note of the B string, have an open B string. That's officially a C major seven chord, beautiful chord. But if you're playing a C, add those notes. I call them colour notes. I call them colour notes, but just little ways to embellish your chords. So rather than just sitting there and going, yep, C major, can make it a bit more interesting. And because those notes are coming from the C major scale, they'll basically never sound wrong. It might be not what you want for that particular piece of music, but it should sound harmonious enough. You can put the pinky down at the G string, at uh, the G note, sorry, on the top E string. I just want you to be familiar with that concept that you can actually just move your fingers. In flamenco, there's some really good ones, like if it's an E major chord, put your finger down on the F, at the D string. That makes an E7. An A minor, A minor chord. Same story, you can do the D note very nicely. And the open. In fact, with almost all of these, what we call cowboy chords or open chords, I probably shouldn't call them cowboy chords, but you can almost always use open strings. To go with those open chords, almost. Often enough, it will sound good. Really well, I'm saying to you today is if you've got a spare finger in your chord, Move it around and try and find some new, new things. And if the bar just says, for example, C major, you're not trapped, you don't have to just play that. You can embellish your chords and that would still be a C major chord. Thank you very much.